founded a series of online science assemblies that are still available to watch on our YouTube channel. Thank you. We will now like to share the latest one with you. Hello, welcome to another Valley Online Science Assembly. Today we are going to be looking at the science of our planet, Earth. Here is our Earth. We have the North Pole, the Equator and the South Pole. The Valley is in the UK, which is, which is in the north, Northern Hemisphere of the Earth. Here near the top of the Earth. A, a big country in the Southern Hemisphere is Australia. Hold on, that can only mean one thing. People in Australia are upside down, right? No, we are all bound to the Earth by a force called gravity. This is caused by the warping of space and time by large bodies such as the Earth. Gravity is an astonishing thing. I will try to balance this ball on the stick upon the, this string. As you can see, there is no way for it to remain balanced, it always falls off. However, what if we try the same ball and string but this time add two sticks with equal weights on the end? Now the ball and stick is balanced, we can even rotate it. This is because this, the string, the stick center of gravity is now much lower than it was before. This means that making it top and over is much more difficult. This is why tightrope walkers always walk with a balancing bar. It's a myth that heavy objects fall faster to the earth because of gravity. Here are two water balloons. This one is three times as heavy as this one. Watch what happens when we drop them at the same time out of the window. They both hit the ground at the same time, despite one being heavier. That proves that gravity makes all objects on Earth fall at the same rate. But wait a minute, what if we were to drop a tennis ball and a feather out of the window? The feather took longer. Yes. Because it is lighter. No. The air swirls a feather down. If you were to do this experiment on the moon, they both would have hit the ground at the same time. Air affects gravity in other ways too. There's a hole here in the side of this bottle. However, no water is coming out because the lid is on tight. For the water to leave, we would have to replace it by air. But air can't get through the hole because the water is in the way. If I was to release the lid and allow the air in, the air pressure has now changed and the water now spouts out. If we want the water to stop, we would have to replace it by, with the lid. Again, the water is not allowing, again, the air pressure is not allowing the water to escape. Gravity is different to the solar system. This is because smaller planets have less gravity while larger planets have more. If you weigh 50 kilograms on Earth, you weigh 19 on Mercury, 46 on Venus. 20 on Mars, 117 on Jupiter, 
53 on Saturn. 47 on Uranus. And 60 on Neptune. This globe represents the Earth. This ball represents the Sun. In Britain, we get seasons, but why do we have seasons? It is all, it is all about the Earth axis. The Earth does not spin straight up. It is tilted by 23 degrees. This means that during the winter, Britain tilts away from the sun, meaning the sun is low in the sky. Six months later, the Earth's orbit has taken it to the other side of the sun. Now we tilt towards the sun. The sun is higher in the sky. We can demonstrate this. Today is the 15th of December. The time is 1.30pm. We are less than a week away from the winter solstice. Look at the length of our shadows. Let's compare this to... Today is the 15th of June. The time is 1pm. Exactly six months have passed. We are one week away from the summer solstice. The Earth has been orbiting the Sun at 67,000 miles per hour. In the last six months, the Earth has travelled 470 million kilometres. Crucially though, in the Northern Hemisphere, we are not tilting towards the Sun. Now look at the size of our shadows. They are shorter because the Sun is higher in the sky. This higher angle means the Sun takes more time to set. So daylight hours in summer are much longer than in winter. This elevated sun means the heat is more intense at this time of year too. This is good news for plants, local wildlife and humans too. Why does the sun look an attractive orange colour when it is lower in the sky? It is because it has to travel through more of our atmosphere. Let's show this. As I shine the torch through the clear glass of water, the light looks white. Just as the sun does during the day. Now I will add a little milk to the water, making it cloudy. Now if I shine the torch through, the light is not a dim white but orange. This is because it is more difficult for the light to travel through the glass, so only orange light, which has longer wavelengths, can get through. Just as the sun goes through our atmosphere. Remember, never stare directly at the sun. The Earth has a magnetic field, just like this magnet here. The Earth's magnetic field is generated by the rising and the sinking of billions of tons of molten iron in the Earth's core over and over again. In our normal lives, we cannot sense our magnetic field. It is invisible and can pass through everyday objects in no problem. But there are ways we can detect it. This This is the reason that no matter how much I spin the compass, the red needle will always point to the North Pole. The magnetic field is crucial for all life on Earth. It protects our planet from charged particles emitted by our sun and cosmic radiation from outer space. Without our life-saving magnetic field, our atmosphere would be stripped away. Thank you for watching our family. And remember, stay curious.